Hello, beautiful people out there in the world. If your beautiful self don't know how to be friendly, watch my videos. If your beautiful self don't know how to love, watch my videos. If your beautiful self struggle with love, hmm, watch my videos. If your beautiful self struggle with shining, the very appearance of evil, hmm, I say again. Watch my videos. If your beautiful self struggle with forgiveness and don't know how to say I'm sorry because you think it condescends your beautiful self in some way or another or that it makes you look weak and not sweet, watch my videos. I got a lot of beautiful things to say to encourage and enhance your beautiful way of non-thinking to think. In a very beautiful way. So that your beautiful self. With what I have to say. You'll stay okay. And you won't continue to be victimized. And be the prey. P-R-E-Y. But it's okay to pray. P-R-A-Y. That you come up out of. These contentions. And these challenges. That leave you with a crease. In the middle of your forehead. Those wrinkles. See them right there. Leave you looking just like that. See, if you, you keep looking like that for an extended period of time, what you think going to happen? You're going to end up with a headache, a migraine, because you're working muscles in there. Feel that? That's kind of tight. You're working muscles. Look at that. See? Release yourself. Free yourself. Be yourself. See yourself, beautiful people. Okay? Complete yourself. Beautiful people, I'm telling you, beautiful people, you have got to go shopping. Okay, beautiful people? And this, there's no particular store, department store, a grocery store, excuse me, for which I speak, that you can go and do this caliber of shopping, and you can pull the shopping cart up, or, or take the trolley with you into the store, and put kind in the basket, put smile in the basket, put love in the basket, put joy in the basket, put peace in the basket, put long suffering in the basket, okay? Can put, put wisdom in the basket. I can go on and on and on, but by the time I get finished, it's going to be a full basket. And with that being said, it's going to be a priceless full basket, okay? It's not going to be a full basket, okay, metaphorically speaking. Let's, let's go, let's look, go at it that way. Let's, let's speak to it from that angle, from that perspective, okay? It's not going to be that caliber of basket that you can pull up to the counter and that you can put up on the counter, okay? And then you have to pull out your charge card or your money to pay for it. You hear what I'm saying? not going to be like that. Not going to be like that at all, beautiful people. No. All right. What I speak of is priceless. Okay. It's priceless. And it, it rests and it, it abides and it resides in the depths of the beauty of your soul. Okay. That's the place where you're going to find it. All right. You're going to have to work on yourself. You're going to have to do some sorting out. Okay. You're going to have to do some searching, some soul searching. Okay. You know, some sorting out like, you know, they're, they're sorting out mail or something like that. Okay. So that everything to go can go to its perspective place or in its perspective direction or to the right address. Speaking of which, okay? Uh, but we're speaking of your address, okay? Your location at this point. The place where you reside. The place where your beautiful self exists. This is what I'm talking about. You got to be on the list. Okay, beautiful people? You got to be on the list in such a way that examining yourself to be your better self, your one true self, okay? That beautiful person that's been left out. Bring them home. Bring that beautiful person back home to the place where they live, okay? Oh, give me a home where the buffaloes roam. No, we ain't talking about that caliber of home, okay? Talking about that place and that embodiment for which you live and you exist. That's the home I'm referring to, okay? Don't you want to feel better about you? Don't you want to be better about you? Don't you want to do something different for a change? 
as opposed to walking around feeling maimed and lamed mentally, okay? Not physically, okay? Restore the way you think, or if at ever, or if ever, restore or achieve that optimal goal of being that one true beautiful you. It's okay to be that person. After all, it can only be one you. Be that one you. Be that one you you can look up to and you can respect and not reject. Not go around always wondering what, what purpose do you serve in life? Or for what reason do you exist? Why am I here? I'm just taking up time and I'm just taking up space. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why do I exist? What was the purpose for the womb opening up and spewing me out? Without a doubt, I hit the air, okay? And it became apparent that now I'm here. And now I've got to do something with me and with my time. I got to keep that in mind. Well, beautiful, beautiful people, everybody was born with a gift or a talent. It is genuinely right in your face, a place where you're searching way far and out for it, away from yourself, and it's right there with you. It's right in your face. It's right there existing in your life. It's a normalcy, a way of living and thinking. You do it every day. You just don't know it. You just don't realize it. Because it's just woven into the fabric of your being in such a way. It's just the natural way of living and seeing and being. So you don't think of it as something special, peculiar, and, and unique. Because it's just a common way of living and thinking for you. But it's everything that you do. And it's everything that the world needs. If it's nothing but just loving everybody and treating them like you want to be treated. If it's nothing but just sharing a kind word and a smile with somebody every day in a very beautiful way. If it's nothing but just saying, hello, how you feeling? Hold your head up. Oh, you have such beautiful hair. I like your shoes. Oh, that's just, that's a nice dress. I like the colors and the beautiful flowers on it. Where'd you get that from? You just made their day. You just made them feel good about life. You made them feel good about living. You made them feel good about their surroundings and everything around around it, the perimeters for which they exist and for which they stand and you being right there in it, you just changed the atmosphere. Now everybody can go home with a smile on their face and they can curl up in that fetal position and they can sleep with nutrition. The nutritions, the nutrients and the nutritions of kind words and smiles left to reside in their mind that they are now have applied. To all you beautiful people out there in the world to whom I speak, if nobody again told you that they love you today, feel now, feel complete and feel sweet. Hearing me say, okay, in a gentle and very pleasant way, I want you to be here and I want you to stay. I just love you that way. Have a smiling day.